السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. We will start explaining the exercises three and four of alcohol in page two to five. In exercise three, he asked me to find the person by mass of oxygen in terms of an N alcohol. Then we want to find the person by mass of oxygen in terms of and in order to calculate the person by mass, the general molecular formula of the H two N plus two O is that we use the general molecular formula of alcohol C N H two N plus two and we apply the law of different proportion of mass or we can apply the following relation person by mass equal to molar mass of oxygen over the molar mass of the compound the molar mass of oxygen is equal to 16 and how we molar mass of the compound is 14 n plus 18 we have the formula cn molar mass of cn h 2n plus 2o is equal we have n carbon we have 12 n plus we have hydrogen 2 n plus 2 well the molar mass of hydrogen is equal to 1 plus molar mass of oxygen is equal to 16 so the molar mass will be 14 n plus 18 this is the person by mass of oxygen in terms, in terms of n okay second part the value of the person by mass of oxygen is 21.6. Calculate N and determine the molecular formula. We substitute the value of the percentage by mass in the relation and we calculate N. So the value of N by calculation will be is equal to 4. And the molecular formula of this compound is C4H10O. Then we determine N which is equal to 4 by using this relation and we find the molecular form part C I'll write the condensed structural formula and write the name of the isomer of this compound to write the condensed structural formula then first thing we write four carbon linear chain we write four carbon linear chain and we place the hydroxylic group OH on the first carbon number one this is the first possible the second possible structure is we changing the position of the hydroxyl group this hydroxyl group is on position number one the other possible isomer is to transfer the hydroxyl group on the second carbon so the condensed structural formula of this compound will be CH3, CH2OH, and CH3. The systematic name of this compound is will be 2-butanol, will be 2-butanol since the hydroxyl group on position number 2. Then this is position number 1, this is position number 2, so the molecular form, the, the systematic name is 2-butanol. These are isomers of linear chain. The other isomers will be branched, will be branched a chain. Is it? The first is that we change from a linear chain to a branched chain. It is this is as written as following. We have three carbon and a branched carbon chain CH3 on the second carbon. We write the hydrogen for each carbon. The first possible position of the hydroxyl group is on the first carbon. This compound is named as this is a linear chain of carbon that have made up of three carbon. Had a position one is a position two, so the systematic name will be two methyl and one propanol. The other possible structural formula is by changing the position of the hydroxyl a group so the 
possible structure will be as C C C we have CH3 same position and we place the OH on the second carbon we write the hydrogen for each one so the systematic name of this compound is 2-methyl 2-methyl 2 when the linear chain here propane propanol is a 2-methyl 2 propanol this is exercise 3 okay D and this alcohol is changed into ketone what will be this alcohol is an if you is a one of these isomers is changed into ketone in order to change uh, to change alcohol into ketone this means the class of the alcohol will be secondary alcohol the secondary alcohol that uh, is written among the following isomers is the uh, 2 butanol 2 butanol is the secondary alcohol so this alcohol has been reacted to change into ketone so we reduce that as it is a 2 butanol compound the part d and the right the half and all the overall equation and this reactions occurs in uh, uh, in reaction with a dichromate solution and how to write this reaction how to write this reaction I'll write before it this is the condensed structural formula of 2-butanol in enduring oxidation to change the hydroxyl group of, of alcohol we change this carbon that contain the hydroxyl group into a ketone group a ketone group it will change into in secondary alcohol when we have secondary alcohol it is changed into ketone it will be as following it is changed into carbonyl group we change into carbonyl group the CO is then we change the carbon of hydroxyl group into CO and this is the functional group of ketone and the remaining part of the alcohol remains the same we don't change the other carbon atom okay to balance this equation to balance this half reaction uh, and this uh, same number of carbon on both sides and you pour carbon <coughs> and four carbon in the, in the product the oxygen and the one oxygen and one oxygen balanced the total number of hydrogen atom in alcohol we have three six eight ten hydrogen atom we have ten hydrogen atom in the reactor in the alcohol and we have in the product in uh, the ketone compound we have eight hydrogen atom so we add 2h plus to balance hydrogen then we balance the charges by adding two electrons for a dichromate cr2 also in two minus is it changed into CR3 plus to write this half reaction we multiply CR by 2 and we have 7 oxygen we balance oxygen by adding water we write 7H2O to balance uh, hydrogen with zero, there are 14 hydrogen in the product we add 14H plus to balance the charges we have a total charge in the in the reactant 12 plus and the total charge in the product we have 6 a plus and 2 times is 3 the difference between 12 and 6 is 6 and we write in the reactant side since it has a higher charge we add 6 electron in order to write the overall equation the number of electron must be equal we have 6 electron in the second half reaction and we have two electrons so we multiply this equation by three after multiplying it by three and we eliminate the hydrogen ion we obtain the follow the following chemical equation the following overall equation is obtained so this is the overall equation of the reaction between secondary alcohol which is 2-butanol and dichromate solution
Oh, we continue with exercise four. Exercise four, we are we only will uh, write or solve the equation D and E. In equation D, we asked to write the equation of the catalytic oxidation of three ethyl for methyl two pentanol. Is that we want to write? the equation of the catalytic oxidation by using condensed structural formula is then we write the condensed structural formula of the alcohol 3-acyl to for methyl to pentanol is then pentanol we have five carbon at position number two we have OH group for methyl we have CH3 and we have C2H5 we complete writing the hydrogen atom for, for the other carbon CH3, CH, H, H, and CH3. Catalytic oxidation is an, reacted with oxygen gas. Since this compound is secondary alcohol, since it is a secondary alcohol, it would change into ketone so to change into ketone we only change the following functional group and the other chain the other part of the chain remain the same so we have CH3 CH CH3 CH C2H5 and we change it into a carbonyl group the other is CH CH3 plus the other product in catalytic oxidation is water and the balance for oxygen is the half okay this is the chemical equation we change only the functional group of alcohol from CHOH into a carbonic group CO okay the other equation is the oxidation of 3-ethyl 1-hexanol is an 1-hexanol is an antiposition number 1 of alcohol and we have a primary alcohol since there is an excess of bichromate solution since we have excess of bichromate solution is, this means the primary alcohol will change into carboxylic acid is an the product of the alcohol will change into carboxylic acid. This is the condition for the mild oxidation. When we have a primary alcohol reacted with an excess of oxidizing agent. So 3-ethyl 1-hexanone is written as following. We have 6 carbon. 4, 5 and 6 carbon. And the hexanol 1-hexanol position number 1. 3-SL, we have C2H5, the other carbon have the following hydrogen, CH2, CH3. Is and we change the, 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 this group into a carboxyl a group. This means this equation will be as following. We change this compound is and we write this equation by using the half reaction method we complete it this will give the same organic the same carbonate chain CH3 CH2 CH2 CH we have with this CHC2H5 I will write it as following and CH2 and the, the last carbon is changed into carboxyl group COOH. To balance this equation, we have same number of carbon and oxygen. We balance it by adding water. The hydrogen in alcohol, we have 6, 7, 8 alcohol, a carbon atom. And we have uh, oxygen, uh, often hydrogen. Uh, in this alcohol with 3, 2, 2, 7, 7, 8, 13, 17, 
and 20 hydrogen 20 hydrogen 20 hydrogen we have 6 16 uh, hydrogen in the carboxylic acid we add to it 4 H a plus and to balance the charge we add 4 electron as we uh, in, uh, we solve in exercise this real dichromate equation is Cr2 O7 2 minus plus 14 hydrogen ion we explained it previous, previously in exercise 3 plus 6 electron to give 2 Cr 3 plus plus 7 H two O is and we correct it. Okay, we have Cr three plus. This is the half reaction of the dichromate. It is explained in exercise three. So the overall equation after balancing the electrons, this is multiplied by two. This is multiplied by three. We will get the following overall equation as we see in the red color the functional group of alcohol is a change into carboxylic acid or carboxyl group. This is the exercise number four.